In recent days, western New York has faced high fire danger conditions. Now, while the risk has been somewhat reduced, fire officials say it remains crucial to stay vigilant. Meteorologist Leanne Beyer talked with local fire experts to uncover important precautions to take during these conditions. During this time of the year, we can sometimes see dry and breezy conditions across parts of western New York. While these conditions are great for outdoor activities, they also unfortunately are high fire danger conditions. That's something we're not used to hearing in this area. Uh, basically, fire danger ratings um, let us know that there's a higher potential for fires to start and spread in the area. Specific weather conditions such as dry and breezy days are essential for triggering high fire danger warnings. However, that is not all. First, it's understanding why these why these things are happening, right? Um, that can be low humidity. It can be a lot of dead fuel, such as the leaves we have on the ground right now. The most effective way to ensure your safety during these conditions is to be prepared for the possibility of a fire igniting and spreading. What they can do to help is um, stay away from doing campfires, if, uh, if at all possible. If they are going to have campfires or bonfires, have an extinguisher or a hose line in place, a garden hose. Um, not just in place, but ready to use, right? Uh, they can also make sure that the bonfires are away from any structures or any piles of uh, leaves and brush. If you have any doubts about whether a fire has been fully extinguished, your safest option is to call 911. Always call 911. Um, even if they try to extinguish the fire and they want to make sure it's completely out, they can call us and we'll go on scene and take care of the rest. Reporting in Rochester, Leanne Beyer, News 8.